M F G. Just look at these hydrangea that I just found. I am going to put a hedge along the front of our house. We will be that house with the hydrangea hedge. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna look so, 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 so nice. Uh, this is the nicest one. So just look at these blooms. Look at these blooms. They are massive, massive. Look at that one. Oh my God. Here's another one with massive blooms as well, but less, I guess, mature. And then there's this other one that I found, which I think it is sun scorched, but I am going to nurse it back to health. It will be just fine. I was only able to find three. Uh, these were all on sale and I called another nursery to see if they have any in stock and they do, but they're not on sale. So I will most likely be purchasing more online. Look at this. It is larger than my head. This is huge. We also have a lot of deer here. We have some rabbits, but the deer will definitely be looking for my hydrangeas and I'm just not gonna have it. So <laughs> I will be spraying these hydrangea with the deer and rabbit repellent. This is liquid fence and it looks like you apply this once a week for the first few weeks and then you apply it monthly so um, i can't imagine myself coming out here especially in the dead of winter out here uh, applying this every single week but i can definitely do monthly if i will protect these all right so we are putting these hydrangea in the ground and i've measured some space between these so i've they at maturity, they will get about six to eight feet wide. So from the center, I am spacing them about three feet away from each other. So there is a total of six feet between them. So this one right here will grow, uh, I, I am just going to assume it'll only grow six feet um, total there. So then from the center here, this one will get another six feet. We also have some boxwood in the front right there, and those are green velvet boxwood, and those will get about four feet uh, tall as well as four feet wide, and those are spaced four feet apart. And what I really want with this hedge is for the boxwood to be at the front because those will be the um, the shortest and the limelight hydrangea will be the tallest reaching about six to eight feet and so it will really have a nice contrast and the height difference you know playing with the height will make it look really really nice so anyway i have already measured these out i've already marked the different spots where i'm going to put them as you can see i've kind of dug a hole around them and uh, apologies for all of the road noise but as i mentioned we do get a lot of uh, cars and so there will be a lot of noise. I will go ahead and set up the camera. I will dig uh, one hole and, and potentially I might just skip the whole digging part in the video and just show you what I do once I'm ready to put them into the ground. Uh, I'll be adding some uh, soil that I got from the store as well as some of the holly tone and also mixing in the dirt that is in the ground here. We have a lot of rocks, so it is really, really hard to dig, but it's worth it. Whew. All right, 30 minutes later, we've got one hole and here's one of the hydrangea that I will be putting in this hole right there. Um, so this root ball is extremely root bound. So I will be teasing the heck out of these roots so that the hydrangea will do just fine in that hole. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so I've teased out the root ball and I put it into the hole. So now I will use some of this dirt that I took out of the ground. And I'll also be using some of this flower, vegetables and herbs soil. Not too much of this, um, but I will be mixing it in with the soil that we have here 
and I'll be add the, adding the holly tone. So I'll go ahead and mix this all up in this spot right here, and then I'll fill it up, and I'll also be mulching. All right, so I have three in the ground, and I will actually be putting two more in this spot. So I've marked it here. So I have one more going right here in this spot right here. And then just one more right there. And then I'll add just one more in this spot right there. So when it's all said and done, we will have a green velvet boxwood hedge along the front. And so those will be spherical very round and compact. Uh, they will grow to about four feet tall, but we'll keep them trimmed. Uh, most likely we will let them get four feet tall because the hydrangea hedge will be getting six to eight feet tall. So that will be okay. They will still peek over the boxwood hedge, but just look at that. So these three are in. I'm going to add I think it was just two more into this in, onto this side and I'll be adding just one more on the other side over there. And so now comes the watering. So I've already added, as I mentioned, I did mix in some of the soil and the soil that I got from the store. And I also mixed that into the soil that was already in the ground. And I also added just a little bit of the holly tone because the soil that I bought from the store already has a lot of nutrients, so I don't want to put too much in there. So I only added just a little bit of the holly tone. And this one, I believe, uh, has been sun, sun scorched, so I will be watching this one. Thankfully, our weather is getting much, much nicer. It's not as hot anymore. It's only about 75 degrees today. And I believe we only have one more day where it's gonna be 80 degrees, but uh, for the most part, I think we're, we're definitely going into an early fall, so. All right, water time. So I'll water each one of these really well. All right, and now it is time for the mulch. looking good. Now I'll add mulch to the other two and we'll be all set. All right, so just look at that. So here are the three that I've put in and I have a couple of more, a couple more that will go in again in these spots. And just right here as well in this spot right here. I don't have the other three that I'll be putting in today just because I actually just ordered them. So those will be coming in in a few more days, but once I have them, what I will be doing today is I will be finishing digging the holes here so that I can just pop them in. And I will be posting an after picture on Instagram so check that out again the Instagram is gardens in bloom so you'll be able to see all six of the different hydrangea well they're all the same they're all going to be limelights but you'll be able to see all of them um, in hedge as a as a hedge um, not quite full but but you'll get the idea okay guys so I am just super exhausted I have like no more energy it took me forever to put these in the ground because we just have so many rocks, but they look amazing. They will always look amazing here. And uh, thank you again for watching. If you guys have any tips on growing hydrangea, these are my first hydrangea in the ground here at our garden. Uh, if you have any tips, please put them in the comments below and we will see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching, bye.